in this video, I'm going to show you how to break down a logo and make one layer into two layers. Uh, I had someone contact me today who was trying to work with this logo here, and um, he just couldn't get it. There is, if you look here, let me zoom in. This is all broken apart with little veins. So um, he was having a hard time with it. So what I did was I just selected it and I went to Path Trace Bitmap. And I selected colors. I selected five because I know there's black in the veins. There's red, blue, and white, which are four layers. Um, so I just selected five. Um, I unchecked smooth, checked stack scans, checked remove background and hit OK. And once this stop turns gray again, then I can close out this box, left click and drag off my vector image. This here is my original JPEG image. So this is the one we want to work with. OK, uh, we need to ungroup it. And I like to hit ungroup until it says no groups. That way I know it's all ungrouped and then deselect everything and select the layers and start pulling them apart. So there's a white one, a blue one, a red one, and another red one. So this one we're going to keep for our bottom layer. And this one here we can get rid of, and also the white one we can get rid of. And then let's select our blue one and go to our node editing tool, edit paths by nodes. It's the one right under your selection arrow here. And let's left click and draw a box around all of those nodes on the bottom. Now it's going to take a minute for it to register all of those nodes. It may say not responding up here at the top, but just give it a minute. It will. Okay. So now once they have all turned color, hit delete on the keyboard. And once again, it's going to take a minute. And once those are deleted, just check and make sure that you didn't get any of those on the bottom there. Okay, let's go back to our selection tool and let's um, hit Control D to duplicate. Now we're going to turn this one white. Um, we're going to go to Path, Break Apart. And now we need this outer circle, and that's all we need. So we need to delete this and all of these letters. So first, let's deselect everything, select the outer circle, and I selected down here because I know there's no letters, okay? Hold the shift key and select that circle and hit path, difference. And now we need to left click and drag a box over half of it to get all of these letters here and hit delete on the keyboard and then do that for the bottom half as well. And now we can turn this white but you can't see it, so I'm gonna turn it gray. Um, now, you can have this to have, let me raise this to the top, white letters, or you can get rid of this and you can have the red layers as it is here. I don't know why this had a white layer in it unless it was the inner, part of um this here so if you're not going to put it on a white t-shirt or anything white and you do want that white layer then i'll show you right quick how to do that let's um deselect everything and find our paint bucket and let's select a light gray so we can see it on screen and let's fill that circle and then Go to our selection tool and we can grab that and it will fit perfectly inside there and we can lower that to the bottom and then we can delete this or we can keep it if we want white letters but to go by this image we don't need this okay so now to break this apart so that you have two pieces this and the word um Let's duplicate it by holding control down and hitting the letter D. And let's put this one back. Um, 
or you can right click and duplicate because we need two layers okay um, we need one so we have the C and we need one so we have the broken sorry about that for some reason one looked bigger than the other uh, my eyes are playing tricks on me so let's grab a square and let's draw a box over top of this C circle actually um, and go to path object to path go back to our selection tool hold the shift key and select broken and that selects that whole image now go to path difference and that gives you just the word okay let's do the same thing for this except this time let's draw a square over top of the word broken let's make sure we don't have any of the circles selected go to path object to path selection tool hold the shift key select the image and go to path difference and that gives you your circle and your curse okay then you can use your blue if you want and also the circle can go on the inside okay so we can delete this and you can save it like this that way you have these separated and you also have it you know together however you would like so that's how you break apart a logo um, and separate a layer um, I hope this will help you if you run into a situation like this. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.